What's up, boys? It's ya boy, George S. Patton. I'm not playing War Game. I'm not playing Shield Division. I'm playing Cold Waters. A Soviet Union, USA, Cold War gone hot. Um, and this is a submarine based game. So here we go. Uh, I'm going to play one of the single missions because the campaign is kind of, I don't know, wonky. So we'll start uh, with the first one, uh, the duel in USA. So we can pick our sub here and we're going to pick the Los Angeles class nuclear attack submarine 688i. Now this is a modded version um, of the game that someone made that I was able to, to try out and this just means uh, it's quieter. Updated holes, new towways, two, uh, excuse me, new uh, towed arrays and shit like that. So it's not too different, but I'll kind of explain the game. It's pretty much just um, a submarine based game where it's a one on one. I gotta find the other submarine, and I already found him, I think. And if I wanna figure out what he is, um, I can go to this, and I just pretty much have to match, play a good little matching matching game to match up the oh and he has his active sonar on so it's gonna be really easy to detect him so it looks like he's gonna be Let's see here that looks like that looks like he's a victor the victor class and as far as I well he's I'm gonna send him a ping back yep there he is he's a victor and that means our tubes are away We're gonna go since he's already spotted us and fired two fish. Uh, we're just gonna dump ours, and then we're gonna dive down hard to the left. And even though we lost contact with him, it doesn't matter because our torpedoes are gonna home in on him anyway. Once they lock him, and it looks like they locked him, and he's dead. Now we just have to make sure that uh, their torpedoes don't hit, and all of our torpedoes, all, all of them hit. And I think we should be okay. We're gonna, uh, we're gonna be all right. We can turn our active sonar off. Speed ourselves back up. So pretty much, uh, what happened there is uh, on our little contact screen here, we saw that we had a contact through Sierra One, and then through that. Okay, never mind. Through our uh, through our mini map, uh, we picked up Sierra One, and then we pretty much knew what it was. It's a Victor class, a pretty shitty class of uh, subs. And uh, pretty simple engagement. He only fired one one uh, torpedo it seems and it's not really going to do anything so we're looking pretty good now. Now we're just going to head to the top, wait for this to um, detonate. And I think that would mean, yeah, so as soon as that detonates, we're going to be okay, and that's going to be mission number one. Pretty fucking simple here. Uh, mission. Pretty easy. Nothing too fancy. So there's a lot more details into this. Oh, why did I stop that? So there we go. And the Victor 2 is sunk. Acted like Yeah, simple. No weapons damage. We didn't get damage. We just sunk it. So great. All right, next is in the presence of wolves. On a routine barrier patrol, you make contact with a wolf pack of diesel electric subs trying to break out into the western approaches. Do get out with enemy subs and make sure they don't escape. Easy peasy. So, we will take, oh, don't wanna spoil anything. I'm gonna take the same sub, or actually, no, nah, let's, oops. Let's take a different sub. Oh no, oops, wrong one. Start. Let's take the skipjack. I like this sub a lot. It uh, has six tubes instead of like a normal four. Okay. 
we started pretty low. So pretty much how the game works is uh, based on your speed, and everything is indicated here. So our depth is 414 feet. Um, our knots, are, we're doing 10 knots right now. And our CSC is our bearing. So as you can see up here, this is our bearing where we're facing. Uh, we have a contact already. Sierra 1, it is 12 knots, uh, 5.7, uh, I don't know what KYD is in terms of Kilom it, oh, it might be, uh, uh, I don't know, but we're gonna go ahead and start shooting, actually. So once we shot, we're gonna shoot two, because I, the, there's gonna be more than one here, uh, more than one sub, and I don't wanna, I mean, two is gonna be enough here, because they already, one's already locked. And it's kind of hard to get rid of those. These electric subs are pretty bad. It, oh, he lost one. Though he got both. Wow. And this one doesn't look like it's gonna track. No. Okay. Okay. So that one's not gonna track us. So we're gonna go ahead and shoot. No, we're not gonna shoot. We're gonna wait. Uh, because the way these subs work, whenever they lose uh lock on, they'll like uh gain it back once they circle around and boom that's that's one down and his torpedo is not even close so now we're on the hunt for another another one we're gonna reload our our uh, first two uh, and we're gonna keep on uh, moving on see if we can locate <laughs> Another sub here. Uh, we're gonna turn. I'm gonna turn uh, right here, and because uh, the way our passive sonar works is that uh, anything in kind of a cone in front of us, we're gonna detect. And the more noise they're making, the higher chance we're gonna have to detect. We just have to make a contact with it. We have to actually get something that has a. A good amount of uh, like noise or something, something that we can go on. Or another thing is, if we're really, you know, uh, really bored here, we can speed it up and kind of wait around and kind of circle and see if we can find some uh, find some more ships. Because the, there is a this time speed button you could have. So I think I'll just uh, use this time speed and find out if we can find anything. Because we know there's other subs here, but we just have to locate them. And locating them is the hardest part. Oh. So there's a... Somebody launched a missile, and I think that might be a surface ship. Yeah, it is a surface ship. That's kind of strange. So there's... We have a contact here, too. Okay, I didn't know a uh, contact showed up. So we're going to turn towards that contact. Um, CR2 is 11... Uh, nautical nautical yards. Oh, it's a sub. How do we know it's a sub? It must be cavitating. Yeah, okay. So we're going to take a hard right here. We're going to try to do this. Okay. Okay, so where that torpedo just came from is there's a, I guess they are being escorted by a, a air patrol, so the air patrol will periodically drop these little buoys here, and they, they detect sound or whatever, and sometimes uh, they'll drop torpedoes as well if they have like a solid contact, which I don't think they had there, it looks like we're going to get another kill here. Um, so, uh, 
I just dropped a uh, kind of a decoy. It's a, it's called a sound noisemaker, but it's uh, pretty much just a countermeasure. There's only one countermeasure in this game. Well, there's two technically. You can uh, you can create a uh, what is it called? Uh, I forget what it's called, but it's like a bubble that if it's coming, if you have a torpedo coming behind you and you're going fast enough, you can make a uh, a bubble that kind of uh, can, the torpedo can lose track, I guess, somehow. I don't know. So it says we're being locked for something. Oh, by our own torpedo. Oh, I didn't mean to hit shift there. So pretty sure that was our own torpedo there. We hit another countermeasure, and sometimes the countermeasure is just a little too easy to work off of, but we're gonna get our speed and climb here. This is a really fast boat, but uh, we don't want to make it a lot of noise because there is a uh, there's an escort here, and we know there's more than one ship for sure. I mean, there's only two. I'm expecting three to four. Um, so we're just going to wait around again. I mean, we killed two Romeros, uh, Romeos, <clears throat> and. Uh, I'm not sure, technically, I'm not sure if they're, like, uh, attack subs or... Oh, we got a torpedo on us. Is this mine? I think that's my same fucking torpedo. So, so, so torpedoes don't have a friendly fire, uh, thing on them. So, it's kind of hard. That's my speed on. Yep, he's coming back. And he's tracking. Yeah, he is. He's still tracking. Oh, okay. Yeah, knuckle. That's what that is. I tried to do one there, but it, it was a little too late. Um, now that torpedo should fuck off. I mean. So all these little uh, blinking uh, red dots are buoys, I believe. They're either buoys or... No, they're not buoys. They're like... Yeah, they're sound buoys, I'm pretty sure. We're going to kick our speed... Oh, no, we're not going to kick our speed up. Because that's cavitating. Makes a lot of noise. Pretty much lets everyone know where the fuck you're at, like, instantly. So that's pretty bad. Even doing it for, like more than a second is uh, really, really bad. So, see, now now we have to go to Ultra Quiet and try to escape our little... our little thing here. And keep looking for those uh, other submarines here, because I'm pretty sure there's more than one at least. We'll send a ping out. See if we get anything. And I don't believe we got anything on that one. We have no contacts. It's just these other two wrecks that we keep hearing that's pretty annoying. The sound, uh, sound of this game is, this game could be a real, like, I like this game. I think it's, uh, I think it's a bit, like, rushed. I feel like there could be a lot of more, uh, like, better ways to detect. Like, it would be cool to, like, just listen. Like, actually have to actively listen for shit in the game. And be able to kind of, like, I think, uh, kind of a system like that to where you're actually listening at all time. You know, you're not, you're not putting music on or anything, or you're not watching something as you're playing a game. You know, that sounds kind of cool. Um, being able to just sit here and listen to, listen and like hear sonar, or maybe hear anything and shit like that, that'd be kind of sweet. And, uh, just the way the AI works is kind of weird. Uh, AI kind of needs to be polished, especially with the escort planes, they can be a bit annoying, so can the helicopters. The whole plane and escort system makes the game kind of hard. Um, 
but it's, I mean, the game's not too hard. It was at, at the start, kind of learning tactics and stuff like that, learning how to do things. I think we're just going to give this, I think we're going to be done with this, because I can't really find anything here. The other two ships are, or the other two subs are kind of... We'll go back to active pinging, see if we get anything. Because you see all these are just kind of following me around here. Well, if I turn the pa if I turn the passive swimmer back on, probably won't see me anymore. Yeah, well, anyways, I think this is done. Let's leave combat. Okay, well, we we got everything anyway, so we're good. Um, action in the North Atlantic. Um, ah, this is gonna be hard. Surface ships are a lot harder to deal with than um, submarines, personally, I think. Just because, uh, I don't know. Um, hmm. I'm gonna use, I'm gonna use this one, the sturgeon. Um, personally, because I just think that the, the surface vessels, like they're, they have a lot of, lot of offensive capabilities in this game. They can do a lot of different things. So our contact, S1. So pretty much how we can find out what S1 is immediately, instead of just, it does, I mean, finding out what it is doesn't really help anything. As much as the game likes to say uh, that finding it out helps the uh, targeting solution, which is this right here, the SOL. Um, it doesn't really make a difference if you find out what it is or what it isn't, because I don't know, at least I can't tell. Um, so, contact S1, 12 knots, um, 12 nautical yard, or 9.6, okay, we lost him. Um, and he was going this way, going um, south, I guess. So, we will, we're gonna load, oh wow, we got two pings already, someone's, oh, okay, or, that's bad. So, having any surface vessel know where you are, like what we just did, is really, really bad. Just because of the fact that um, surface vessels, uh, when they don't know where you are, it's really easy for you to kill them, but when they do know you where they are, they're really hard to kill, because they'll so kind of like, um, yeah, see, here we go, we're getting, there's all those contacts. So we're going to wait to uh, ripple fire these two uh, missiles. These are two, uh, oh, fuck. I don't know where that one's going, I fucking misclicked. Okay, well, we're fucked. That was pretty bad. So now we're just gonna... How close is this one? So pretty much what we... Uh, we're just gonna blow our load here of missiles and, and shit. And we're gonna see... I actually wanna see the missile. It might have picked up on something. I know the torpedoes will. I don't know, did it pick up on anything? No, it doesn't look like they picked up on anything. So we're gonna go back to our sub and we know that there's something here and we're just, it's real close. But anyways, uh, we're diving. We're gonna get some depth, uh, lose some noise, kinda lose our, our people. This missile's got it. Is this the same one? Uh, the camera thing's kind of So there's a total of these helicopters. These things are very annoying to deal with. Both of our torpedoes missed. And I'm not sure why. One might be tracking something. Our torpedoes, or our missiles looks like they missed as well. And thought I heard a torpedo. Yeah, that, that is a torpedo back there, over here. 
but it didn't do anything. So the helicopters, there's no way for us to kill the helicopters in this game, unfortunately. Uh, because they are get they get really annoying. Um, but we're low and slow. We're like real low and slow. Well, not that low, but so a. Did we, did we kill something? Apparently, our torpedoes locked and hit something. And then we hit, uh, we hit a uh, heli carrier, which looks like it's gonna be going down, maybe, or it might take another hit. But this is pretty cool. The models on the on the game are pretty nice. Um, yeah, the models look pretty cool. Looks like they're gonna. Looks like it's gonna live. We're gonna go ahead and turn uh, back to our right, so maybe we can. We're gonna reload for missiles on all of our stores, on all of our tubes here. We're gonna try to send a. I wish you could uh, queue together strikes because that would make a lot of sense uh there's a lot of different things that like improvements in this game maybe like a a waypoint system for your sub like you could set depth and stuff while you're doing other things but there's not a lot of micromanaging in this game um yeah so we're gonna uh these ships are actually kind of close what's the range on this no i didn't know so, what we're going to do is, we're going to be real close. There's a button that tells, uh, I forgot what it is. But there's a button that I, that fucking was in the tutorial that gives you a range setting. This, that feels way too close. Yeah, let's go ahead and switch to fucking direction. seems way too close to me. How close is he? Oh shit, he's fucking way close. Yeah, they're they're way close. But we have the missiles, so we might as well. Okay, so the missile hit, surprisingly, and so that just leaves the torpedoes and the this ship shooting at us. Maybe we're loading all torpedoes now because I, I didn't know they were that close within you know uh, the minimum range. The wire broke on. So whenever you turn to a sharp degree, the wire on your wire-guided torpedoes blade. But nine times out of ten, it doesn't really affect anything, unless you wanted to make like commands later. Right now, I think this is gonna track and hit. Looks like it is. Yeah. Oh nope. It got a countermeasure in. So we might switch. Actually, we'll switch to something a bit more conservative. So we fired one, and our second one is still tracking. Yep, and it's gonna. No, it's tracking onto the wreck of this, which is a. Uh, wait, can we? Damn, I wish it didn't, but it did still. We're gonna launch another. Launch another and dive. Um, so, and I'm, after that, I'm not sure if we have any other conduct. There'll be three ships dead. Uh, but I, uh, I don't know, because the three helos kind of was an interesting. I thought I shot a, uh I should have thought about how many helos that I saw and kind of piece that together as. Either we're facing something really big or a carrier. So I'm not sure what it could be now. Um, looks like we're clear here. I'm just gonna... Oh, 
Our torpedo locked onto something else. Oh no. So there's still vessels nearby, apparently. We can send out pings. See if we get anything on our map. So there should be a red line when we get a ping if, if there's anything uh, immediately close to us. Which looks like there's not, but that gives away our position toward for the helicopters and shit. Simply so. fucking helicopters. There goes uh, this old age. Man, this looks like a fucking destroyer from um, World of Warships or something. All right, so we might have to go to periscope depth, which is a fucking terrible idea. Don't ever go to periscope depth. It just leaves to fucking death and disaster. But we have to find our last target in periscope depth. Um, for surface targets, at least, uh, almost immediately finds you targets. Hopefully, this time it does. We're gonna find out. Because the helicopters that are around here will definitely find us. And here we go. Oh, we got a contact behind us. And I think he just fired. What's oh, a sub. So we have a sub, and it's behind us. Because uh, I heard the the ping back from it, I'll go ahead and start active ping because he knows we're here. And I'll go ahead and switch our tubes. Oh no no no, that was a bad idea. Whoops, I made a mistake. If you already had one loaded and you switched to the one before, it shouldn't stay in there. But that's just a game thing. He fired way early. We should have, uh, we should have fired, uh, beforehand. I'm going to stop cavitating. So, uh, but we know there's a sub in front of us. So we're going to switch to passive. And we're going to dive down here. That looks like an old, uh, torpedo too. If I remember my torpedo, I'm going to go ahead and send it right out in front of us and I'm gonna keep diving oh it locked to something locked to something right in front of us oh there he is looks like a Romeo Or Romeo or Victor, I don't know. I think it's a Romeo. Alright, well that's one. One sub down. There's gotta be more than one than that, right? We went right to the top and he fired a torpedo at us way too early. He paid for it. I believe that ping was... I'm not sure what that ping was. What was that? Oh, okay. Well, besides that, oh, uh, there's just aircraft nearby. Okay, so it looks like we're okay. It does, uh, undetected vessels, so won't show up. It'll say areas clear, even though undetected there's vessels that are still, uh, like in the game but we'll see we're gonna get back up to periscope depth and maybe find another surface vessel we're cavitating so maybe that little two seconds somebody's gonna fire on us let's uh let's go ahead and I don't think we're gonna spot anybody here. So, back down we go. No contacts, and I think, 
think we're okay. We're gonna rib for rig for super fucking quiet, and we're gonna dive down real low, and I think that's gonna be the end of uh, this fucking mission here. sure that was from um oh fuck let me deploy noisemaker oh. so there is probably the fucking I don't think that was another sub pretty sure that was a fucking from a uh helicopter for some reason even though we haven't like been quiet but we're so our depth is so low that we're gonna be like perma flooding um, so we have to raise to a uh, higher depth because uh, we're gonna be flooding and that's not gonna be great for us to fucking escape yeah okay We're still super quiet, so nobody should really know we're here. We're getting this water out of our compartments, hopefully. And once we do that, we're gonna get the fuck out of here. Okay. We're not flooding anymore, and... That is a good mission. I think that's uh, good for me. The Cosbeck. Don't know what the fuck that is, but one out of four, one out of five got away. Um, so that's fine with me. Anyways, that's it for this episode. Uh, I'll probably play this shit again because I have a lot of hours on it. So, yeah.